Let's take a look at the Orico Mini Mate 40 gigabits per second external SSD for Mac Mini M4. This may be the simplest and cleanest solution to do a storage upgrade on your Mac Mini, especially if you need something stationary. We're going to take a look at this and then plug it in to do some performance testing. I'm Artist Wright. Full disclosure, Orico did send me this unit for me to do a review. All the opinions you're about to hear are solely going to be my own. So first, let's quickly talk about how you can upgrade the storage on your Mac Mini. Well, one would be just to configure it from Apple with the memory that you want. But when you start to go through that route, you are going to pay a lot of money for the higher tier storage. So what some have done is buy the base model with just the base storage and then buy the NAND chip on the market or aftermarket, disassemble your machine, install the NAND chip, reassemble it, and then use Apple Configurator to pair that NAND chip to the SOC. That requires specific skill and a lot of know-how in terms of doing that. And if you're not comfortable going through your machine, well, a couple of other options are available, an external SSD. These are always a fantastic solution. However, if you want a clean aesthetic and you don't want a drive like this, or even maybe even smaller one sticking out on the back of your Mac mini or in the front of your Mac mini, well, and you're looking for something that is more stationary, I think this mini mate is a great solution. The form factor is pretty much the exact same as your Mac mini. This will work with the Mac Mini M4, the regular one, the M4 Pro. In fact, it will work on any Mac or any PC for that matter because it has a USB 4 connection. It's just that the form factor is really designed with the Mac Mini in mind. So with this, you can simply put it on the top like that. It can go on the bottom. It can even go vertical like that if you want to use your Mac Mini in the configuration that way. And the other thing too is that this have passive cooling on inside that they say it's five layer cooling. On the top, like I said, it's five size aluminum. There's a USB 4 port on the back. There's a ventilation for cooling there. And on the bottom is just plastic with rubber footing. So simply enough, what you get is two USB 4 cable. This is a shorter one that's braided that comes in a box. We're going to be using this one for demonstration. And simply enough, if you want to set this on the top, just plug it in and link it up to your Mac Mini, just like that. There you go. So you can do this and it can also go on the bottom of your machine too, although I will probably disconnect this so that the cable is in the right direction. So if you wanna do something like this, you can certainly do that too. Now, this particular one that Arico sent me is two terabyte in capacity. This comes in 512, one terabyte, two, which is this one, and also goes up to four terabyte. They also have a 20 gigabits per second model. And in addition, they also have a model that is really designed with just two empty NVMe slots and a couple of ports in the front. So it really depends on what you need. But if you're just looking to expand the storage and you wanna get a good fast storage speed, this is going to be the option for you. So what we're gonna do now is let's power on my Mac Mini. We're gonna link this up to my display and then pretty much let's do some performance testing on this. So give me just a moment to reset this up and then we're gonna jump right back in. So now I have the Orico Mini Mate plug into my Mac Mini M4 Pro. Let's run a disk speed test. For this, I'm gonna use Blackmagic disk speed test. We're going to select our Orico drive and just a little quick FYI there, this Orico drive has been formatted to Apple APFS file system, which is actually the one that you want to use when you're using SSD on these modern Apple operating systems. So I'm gonna close this out. And what we're gonna do is run the speed test. So with this, we're getting a write speed close to 3,500 megabytes per second and read speed close to 3,000 megabytes per second. Now this is not going to be the super fast, like 7,000 megabytes per second that are out there in the market today, but I don't believe the ports on the Mac mini can really fully handle those speeds to start out with. But this is a good respectable speed, especially for a stationary SSD that is just supposed to be on your desk. I've also done some long-term testing with this. And in terms of heat, I mean, it's just slightly warm right now in my test during this video. It's really not even that warm. It's just like kind of just lukewarm. And so far in my testing, when we copy like large amount of files, which you're going to do that right now, it doesn't really like stall or stutter or anything like that, which is a good thing to see. What I'm going to do now is use my Orico external SSD. This is another one by Orico. This has my own NVMe drive on the inside and we're going to plug it in. Now, this is what I was talking about. Clean aesthetic. This thing is plugging it on the side. If you need a portable drive, this is the way to go. But if you're looking for something stationary, clean, one single wire, this is going to be the better solution. So with this in mind, what we're going to do is open both of these up. And I am simply going to drag a folder that has 251 gigabytes of data there. And let's see how this performs. So we're going to go into the Orico drive. 
So far, it has been sustaining at around a little bit over two gigabits per second or gigabytes per second, which is actually really good. And supposedly, if this is running the way how it is, it's supposed to be finished in about like a little bit over a minute, maybe like under two. But what I want to see here is as we go through this whole entire process, is there going to be a speed uh, reduction or a dip in speed or not and it might drop a little bit because the files that I am sending over are not just for example video files there's a Lightroom catalog in there I believe these are a lot of like tiny raw files in there not tiny I mean but many raw files in there too but let's see how this performs so far it's been doing a really good job keeping at two gigabytes per second and above we are about halfway through right now and we do see a slight reduction. It's coming down to around 1.63 gigabytes per second. And then it goes up again. That's probably the Lightroom catalog that pretty much hits it that caused that slowdown. Now it's doing 2.5. I mean, it is performing extremely well considering the form factor. And towards the end here, when it comes to like the video files and so forth, we're getting close to three gigabytes per second on the right. So this is pretty much exactly what we were expecting. It started out a little bit slow. There was like some raw files. And if we take a look in this folder, it's really a good mixture of just pretty much videos and also raw files in here. So there's a whole bunch of raws, there's a whole bunch of NEF, and there's also some like video files. So it's actually been doing a really good job. Anyway, if you're looking for a stationary external storage for your Mac mini, whether it's M4, M4 Pro, and you're looking for this nice form factor, I think this is definitely the one to consider. Like I said, there are other options that Arico have too, so definitely go and explore your option before, but this is gonna be good. I'll leave a link to this in the description below this video. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with me. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're new. I'm Art, and I thank you for your time.